Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. The channel still remains King Obed. Please hit the like button for me. Please subscribe and share for others to subscribe for us to continue to grow together. Now, in my last video, I talked about this book called The Automatic Millionaire. Now, why I brought you five reasons why you can become an automatic millionaire. Each and every one of us can be automatic millionaire. Now, in this episode, I'm going to give you six reasons why buying a home make great investment and you know in the previous video the author talks about the fact that if you want to become an automatic millionaire you have to pay yourself first and the second step is that you have to automate it and the third step he states is that we should be able to buy a home and pay it off early so in doing so we can become automatic millionaires now in this episode we are saying that there are six reasons why buying a home make great investment. So stay tuned whilst I bring you the great lessons from the book called The Automatic Millionaire, which was written by David Bach, the American writer. So the first reason why you should get a home or you should buy a home is forced savings. Now, when you buy a home, it makes you, you know, save and it makes you become a disciplined person more than relying on yourself because at any particular point in time or every month you are made to contribute to you know the principal and or the amount that you bought the home so it makes you kind of open a forced savings account so forced savings account can make you richer over there that is why us and when anybody who buys a house will become maybe 10 times or 20 times better than the person who is renting because Whilst you rent and you pay your monthly rent allowances, you pay it to a homeowner. You don't save. But the person who buys a home and is paying the principal of his or her mortgage saves each and every month. And this will give him or her equity over time. And it will become a forced saving account for the person. And this will contribute to the person becoming a billionaire or a millionaire. So if you want to become a millionaire in the near future or now you have to make an effort to buy a home because it's a great investment that will make you better and bigger another reason why you need to buy a home that the writer talks about is leveraging well what is the leveraging leveraging is when you borrow money from the bank to make potential gains so when you buy a home you also pay that leverage game too and this is one of the you know, uh, best financial um, taxes. So this is how leveraging works. So for instance, let's say you are buying a home which costs 250000 and you are supposed to make 20% down payment. So for instance, you pay your 50000 which is your own money, and you borrow 200000 from the bank. So since you have only put in one fifth of the purchase price, it means that you are getting five to one leverage now let's say that in a space of five years if the price of this house that you bought for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars increases to three hundred thousand it means that you've doubled the amount that you put in which is fifty thousand you've doubled it to hundred thousand so this is the power of leveraging now you are using the money you borrowed from the bank to make maximum gains or potential gains and that is why you and I should be able to make it an effort that we are getting our own homes and not continuing to rent other people's homes to make other people millionaires or other people richer. So I guess the first two points are okay for you to, to cushion you or to motivate you to get your own home as you move along. But the third point that the author states is that you are using other people's money to enrich yourself. So what is other people's money? This is a common phrase that normally circulates within the smart investor circle. So what happens is that um, rich people get their money to work for them. And when you buy a home, it's exactly that. You are using the money from the bank to become rich. Whilst your money that you save in other places, like in your retirement account, you know, compound somewhere to give you a better retirement package now another reason why you should buy a home is the pride of ownership that comes with being a landlord or a homeowner 
and that kind of you know feeling and the sense of security that comes with it so for instance you are loved by your, your loved ones there's that high sense of security for you know being able to purchase a home for yourself now you are no more answerable to any um, landlord you are your own landlord and you feel part of the community that sense of pride that comes with it so it is very important that if you want to become an automatic millionaire and if you want to have that pride of ownership you need to make sure that you are making arrangements to buy your own home or getting a mortgage for yourself so that you can also feel that kind of you know boss of your life so another reason why you need to buy a home is the fact that real estate has proven to be a great investment so for most people the best investment they ever make is buying a home so for instance people are of the view that um sometimes the, the real estate market is bad sometimes it's not all they want yes we agree but these problems are mostly temporary fact is that it has been proven that over the years real estate prices go up every time and therefore it is always great to get a home so that at any point in time where real estate prices are skyrocketing you can be a benefactor or a beneficiary of the prices so it is very important that now real estate is one of the biggest you know investment on earth now or in the world now where all the rich and the wealthy men are putting their money in so if you are a young guy if you're a man if you're a woman anybody who wants to make it in this life you have to channel some of your money into investing in real estate or getting a home for yourself the final reason the author talks about for owning a home or for buying a home is enjoying tax breaks so for instance the government will allow you to deduct you know the percentage of the interest that you are paying on your mortgage and by giving you incentives so these incentives will help you to become a homeowner so for instance in advanced countries where um, people are in the 30 percent bracket tax bracket they, the government subsidizes you and helps you to make sure that you are getting enough tax breaks so fast forward we've come to the end of this video and i know you have enjoyed every bit of it every point of it learn to become a homeowner i think it is one of the best ways that can help you to become the automatic millionaire that we are all aiming to be so thank you for watching this particular video i know that you are going to take the key steps that i've outlined in this particular video please if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe for me let's continue to build this page together let's learn about life and help us to become the automatic millionaires that we all want to be in this life a life where all of us want to be financially stable i think it is one of the best that we can do for ourselves bye bye and see you in my next video